I have created numerous videos about my skincare routine, not because I believe it's the best routine out there by any means, but it is the one that has brought me to this place. So I like to share my secrets. <laughs> it feels selfish to keep these to myself. So what I wanted to do with today's video is something I've not done and I've been asked to do is to create a capsule skincare routine for anybody, a basic skincare routine for someone who is just starting out their skincare path. So I thought I would do that today and I will just come right out and say it. I believe in simplicity. I think that less is more. I think people overcomplicate. Of course, you can do what you want. I, I do want to say that all of this is optional and you can do whatever you please and you should. But it's my belief that simplicity um, less is more, especially when it comes to skincare. And in the morning, that means cleansing, moisturizing, sunscreen. Those three things, I believe, are the only three critical components of the morning skincare routine. And in the evening, it will be cleanser, moisturizer, and then I would pick one active ingredient. You will see many skincare routines have multiple actives, and I think that unnecessarily complicates things for one, and I also think it increases the potential for irritation. So I would personally advise against that. Starting with the morning routine, I like to use, and you don't have to, to be clear, you don't have to use the products that I use. Speaking from my experience, I'm going to share what I use, but feel free to use whatever iteration of the main products that's the important point. It's not the specific products necessarily, it's just the main uh, components of the routine. You can plug in any other product in its place as a substitution, but I will share what I use. So in the morning, you can cleanse with an inert cleanser, which is to say a cleanser containing no actives that will be the best for all skin types, including sensitive skin types, will be able to tolerate an inert cleanser. So I like the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. And you will have seen this, if you're familiar with me, <laughs> you will have seen this many times, countless times. This is the one that I have been using, in fact, ever since I first started uh, washing my face. That is the one I've used since I was 11. <laughs> so I love that cleanser. And here and there over the years, I've tried other cleansers, even other Cetaphil cleansers, and I don't care for them. I care for this one the most, the Gentle Skin Cleanser. It just works the best for me. So that's the one that I uh, still use. And then for moisturizer, again, I think inert is the best with no actives, uh, just a plain basic moisturizer. I love the one from Cetaphil, this advanced relief lotion. This is a all over the body moisturizer, but I use it on my face as well. This is very good. And the other one that I like and would recommend to anyone is the CeraVe PM moisturizer. This is really, really good, and I have uh, used this through and throughout the years, over and over again. The final step in the morning will be your sunscreen. Regardless of the climate and the temperature and all that, we need to protect our skin with a broad spectrum sunscreen. The one that I'm currently using is the Dermatology Broad Spectrum SPF 45. This is very good, I like it. This is my second container of this and I like it a lot. But I've also used and loved the Olay Mineral. It's a mineral SPF sunscreen with hydrating zinc oxide. The third one that I really enjoy is the Eucerin. Um, this Eucerin SPF is very agreeable, I find. But the point is, find a sunscreen that your skin agrees with, which is to say it's tolerated on your skin without any irritation, and that you can wear from a cosmetic standpoint that won't be producing 
like a ghostly effect from the zinc or titanium dioxide contained in the sunscreen if you're going the physical route or if you use a combination physical and chemical sunscreen uh, something that won't irritate uh, your skin so cleanser moisturizer sunscreen in the morning that's that and then in the evening you're going to repeat with cleanser moisturizer and then pick one uh, active ingredient so that can be an alpha hydroxy acid for instance i have this this has a smoothing effect on the skin this is a lactic acid product and i love this i've used it for many many years for my body skin and it's very good it's a gentle exfoliant it's a little bit gentler than glycolic acid but you can pick glycolic acid or my personal recommendation is a retinoid so you don't have to use prescription strength retinoid, especially if you are new to topical retinoids, but you can pick a milder form, which would be a retinol, an over-the-counter retinol, or my number one recommendation for this product, the one that would be um, the top of my list in terms of affordability, accessibility, and efficacious uh, quality is different. So that is the Adapalene gel, which is a prescription strength topical retinoid that's available over the counter. So that would be the last final step in the evening skincare routine. You all know that I love castor oil for my around the eye area, but I've heard from many of you that you can't tolerate it because of the greasiness or the film that it leaves on your eyes or that you experience irritation with castor oil. I fortunately don't have that experience. I've had nothing but good experience with castor oil and I've used it now for over a decade for my eye area in lieu of an eye cream. But the other thing that I would recommend that will do the same job and will very likely not cause any irritation whatsoever is plain petroleum jelly, Vaseline, or any sort of petrolatum-based occlusive, such as Aquaphor or CeraVe healing ointment. I think Cetaphil now makes a version of a healing ointment that you can dab around your eye area, especially in the area of the crow's feet, and it will keep that entire orbital bone area nice and smooth and supple and line-free. That's been my experience with the castor oil. But this will perform the same duty, I believe, because it's, it's quite uh, similar in the way that you can just dab it on areas of the skin. It will act as a mask. And then you go to sleep like that. And in the morning, you, your eye area will be nice and supple and smooth. And if you do that over time, um, this in effect delays the onset of premature lines and wrinkling in that area. So that would be my last tip. And a bonus is that, of course, Vaseline and Aquaphor and all these occlusive products that are petroleum-based, they can be applied to the lips as well, which I do, an, an overnight lip treatment. You can use it in the daytime, too, <laughs> as a lip treatment. Um, so that would be my capsule skincare routine. I see many people having these 10 and 20-step elaborate skincare routines that when you add up the cost of each product, it totals over 250, 300 and up dollars. And, you know, have at it if that's your, if that's the type of thing that you like to indulge in, uh, I get it. I, we all have different indulgences that we like to, um, it's different strokes for different folks. But if you're asking me, I would say less is more, dial it back, focus on basics. That would be my main takeaway. Instead of doing so many serums with peptides and ceramides and niacinamide and all kinds of things, it, those serums and things, it's, it, it can be hard to determine what's, what's affecting what. <laughs> At the end of the day, I guess is what I'm trying to say because uh, for me, I'll just say from my personal experience, having used um, tretinoin and topical retinoids, having used retinoids from the age of 20 um, till now consistently, I know that that's what's producing the result is my point. I can track the progress and because I've not used 
10 million products <laughs> and switched and switched products throughout the years and things like that because I've remained so consistent it's a it's a documentation of the efficacy at least of this routine for me and I know that it's an end of one experiment but my encouragement to each person watching this is that you find the routine that cert that suits you and serves you the best and produces those optimal results for you. And then you adhere to that routine with consistency. And that's the main thing, consistency, 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 and patience. So I hope this was helpful. And what I would love for you to do, because I'm just curious, I would love for you to leave in the comments below your hero products. So what cleanser, moisturizer, sunscreen, and actives that you love. Um, let's all uh, find out what people use. And I think it would be really fun to get a peek into your skincare routine. Since I have revealed multiple occasions mine, um, I would love to know um, which products that you love and are tried and, tried and tested and true in your routine. So please leave those in the comments down below so that I and everyone else can read them and learn from them. And I wish you the best of luck and the best of skin, the best of health. And I wanted to thank you as always for watching.